What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Pokemon Yellow in the last part. We uh we got to uh the we got to the route ne near uh, Vermilion City, didn't exactly go there, we explored the daycare. I in this part, well first off, I grinded my Pokemon except for Bulbasaur off screen because I wanted Bulbasaur to evolve on camera. I just went to the daycare and walked around anyway, so uh we already explored a little bit of this route, so I think it should take one or two trainer battles of splitting the XP in order to get Bulbasaur to evolve. Who knows? Maybe we'll encounter a level 20 Caterpie and we'll just it'll just evolve right away. Because uh I think it's one of the last of the routes you encounter bug catchers. There are many bugs out here. Uh yeah, I should also uh yeah, the new po there are no new Pokemon in this route, but none of the which are uh, Weedle and Bel Caterpie and all that. Oh, level 16 Weedle. I think I'm gonna chance. I think I'm gonna beat the odds because uh, Bubble Sword is part poison, except that's not exactly uh, the kind of damage I wanted. Yeah. I'm not exactly going to uh, take this thing out. Yeah, I, I basically got each of my Pokemon up a few levels. I checked uh, Bulbasaur's stats and uh, basically it's 300 XP from a level. So yeah, one trainer battle should should do. All right, go Carbon Dog. I love my. I still. I didn't think of a nickname on the spot and I just thought of an Earth Arm. To be fair, I've been playing a lot of Mother One recently because I haven't beaten the Switch. I beat Mother 1 like 6 years ago on the Wii U, or 6 or 7 years ago, and I beat, uh, and I'm playing it through it a second time. I have not, last time I beat Mother 1 was like, uh, maybe 6 or 7 years ago, because that was around the time I tried out Earthbound for the first time. Both are solid games. I never played Mother 3, though, uh, based blame Nintendo for never re-releasing it. I did not mean to use Scratch. Big if not paying attention. Okay. Whoa! A Gen 1 miss out of the opponent. That's the first Gen 1 miss out of this playthrough. But yeah, in Gen 1, basically, uh, every move has a... Because of a programming error, like, uh, basically, every move has a 1 in 256 chance of missing. I expected to get a Gen 1 miss out of myself and not the opponent. I'm doing this out of love. Leave me alone. I'm just fighting these trainers for the XP and that and only the XP. No way a bow so is gonna be that shouldn't even be a weeping bell, but I'm not even complaining. And yay. Actually will Dig do more damage because Dig's a physical move, but Weeping Bell's horrible physical defense. I think it, yeah, I think it might have done more damage than Ember. We'll never know. And our Bulbasaur is going to evolve. And our Charmeleon leveled up. What really else is evolving? And like Charmander, I came up with this on the spot. We also evolved into Ivysaur. I'm just gonna go to the daycare and get this thing up a few levels, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back now and uh, got this uh, up three levels, which uh, is decent. It's 461 out of 20. So, yeah, Bulbasaur, I would say, is the easiest to raise of the three starters. It only took me like five minutes to get this up three levels. Anyway, so Junior Trainer wants to fight Junior Trainer Sound and Island Cubone, which uh, thankfully is weak to Vine Whip. Though, fortunately, because it's Gen 1 and Bubble Toast Part Poison, there's a chance we might be weak to ground. And we, especially if we don't one shot this. Yeah, G bl nice Gen 1 mechanics right there. We feed Junior Trainer and, uh, 
A textbook never. Anyway, so, uh, I'm mainly just fighting these trainers there for me. Anyway, so why we, uh, I've never seen you around. Are you good? Let's see, you're a, you're a bug catcher with a level 20 Caterpie, am I right? Yay! We actually get a Butterfree for once! I love this! We're just gonna get the XP and get some level ups out of Bulbasaur. Do I have any Paralyze, paralysis Heals? I'm gonna need them for the next gym. I could use the full restore, but uh... Nice. By the way, I have the all-time worst confusion luck in, like, Pokemon history. I got a hit right there, but, like, I'm not gonna get any subsequent hits. I told you! I told you I have the all-time worst confusion luck. And he keeps using Supersonic, I'm confused no more, thank you. Well, so you're level tw I'm so good level 20! Yay, we actually... Let's get a- let's see how, how close our Pikachu is to a level up, because I want him up to The reason I grinded was because, uh... Let's just say the next few gyms are gonna get pretty- The next gym is a step up in difficulty, at least in the yellow version, not as much in the red and blue version. Junior trainer wants to fight junior trainer and send out Pidgey. Well, it's a good thing I switched out to Pikachu. A Pidgey or a Bulbasaur? Or an Ivysaur? I think an Ivysaur might be a Pidgey. I don't know. Another Pidgey. Fortunately, Pidgeys don't even give many XP even when they're uh, owned by trainers. Yeah, three Pidgeys. I mean, if he had a junior trainer, and, uh, just didn't work. Let's see what this guy has. Huh? You wanna talk to me? Alright, here we go, uh... Another junior- junior trainer male. I've noticed about, uh, Gen 1 in particular, that you fight a lot of the youngsters and bug catchers toward the beginning, the junior trainers to, and, like, gamblers, those type of trainers toward the middle, and, like, some other trainers and cool trainers toward the end. Hmm. Should I put up a Pikachu against Eradicate? I'll chance it. I want the XP. We don't one-shot this, even with the critical, but it uses Tail Whip, and we are faster in this thing. We don't even get a level up under this, that is kind of lame. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut it off for this part of Pokemon Yellow, now that we're in Vermilion City. So, uh, next time Pokemon Yellow, we're going to explore a little bit more Vermilion City. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye.